Okay, welcome back. So in a prior video, I talked about this laser on and laser off time and the end cut time and how it affects the hatch pattern and the timing of when the laser turns on and off. So in order to set this, you need something to visually look at and check and compare it to. So what I do is I get a square, uh, you drop a square in there, untick this link box and we'll put in some dimensions that are square. So 20, and 20 click apply With the pick tool we we'll move that to the center and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a hatch pattern in here that we can see so what we're going to do is we're going to use hatch one we're going to make this line distance one millimeter and we're going to make sure that this pattern is single lines so we don't want the zigzag we want single lines but we want them going in both directions so we want this tool here we're also going to use tool two, but we're going to change the angle to 90. So tool one is zero degrees, tool two is 90 degrees, both of them using pen zero, and both of them with line spacing of one millimeter. Uh, you can make, also make sure if you use average distribute lines, that just makes sure that they're all centered. Otherwise, if it's an uneven uh, square, it, they'll be pushed to one side. So average distribute lines will average out this one mil spacing in between the size of your square. Tool three we're not going to use so make sure that's not ticked as enable so you don't want to see that you want enable unticked and click OK. So what this is going to give us is a pattern that when we uh, engrave it we can actually see it without magnification although uh, some kind of magnifier is going to help you better tune these times. Um, for tool one, you make sure you have follow edge once ticked, but only on the one tool. So if I untick that, you'll see that the border disappears. We need that border as a reference for the timing marks. So we're going to leave follow edge on and click apply. So what this is going to do is when we when we cut this, we're going to do is we're going to set the parameters for tool zero. Usually it's you know on default un tick use default and you're going to set this to the speed that you're going to run this pen at one five zero zero and I usually stay at there power settings and frequency is really not going to matter that much um, the settings on my machine are negative 50 150 and 300 and this is going to be different for every different machine uh, so when they, you get the EasyCAD software, there's probably some values in here. They may be close, but you might not be getting uh, clean engraving or the side wall you're engraving might not match up with the border. And that's because this timing needs to be really spot on. So what I did was I did an example and I really, really pushed those times off. So here, here on the right side are the settings that work for my laser. And then I moved these times. So I changed negative 50 to 500, 150 to 500, and the end time to 50. And you can see in this example how the hatch pattern no longer lines up with the border. And the border is no longer connected at the bottom. What effect that has on your engraving is obviously here. It can't, the timing is off so far, it can't even fill in these letters. When it's, when it's timed right, you get a nice engrave with clean walls and a flat bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to tweak one setting at a time until you get this line to match this line. Then you change the other setting and then you'll get the off or the on, whichever one you're changing. You'll got to tweak it so that the lines match exactly to the border. And that's going to give you the best results for a deep engrave. Um, every time you change this speed setting, this speed setting is going to affect where you need to set these laser on and laser off times. Um, they may need to be higher, they may need to be lower, uh, depends on what you get. So you really want to do this test at the speed you're going to run this tool at. Um, and you'll hear the difference. I'm going to let, play an example now of what the what it sounds like when it's running wrong and what it's sounding what it sounds like when it's running right
and you can tell the difference and you'll see you'll see the difference so if you're having problems with getting clean deep engraves the walls don't look right the bottom doesn't look right if this is not set right and dialed in uh, your, your deep engraves are gonna look all kinds of funky um, that's it for now uh, if you have any comments leave them in the uh, comment section below